people with alterations in TGFBR1 or TGFBR2 can have a condition called Lois Dietz syndrome. And in those patients, they can have the features, the skeletal features of Marfan syndrome, but they can have additional features. And those additional features include some abnormalities in the way the face and the brain develop. And the brain abnormalities are called craniosynostosis. And that's a big word that just means the brain hasn't really formed, not the brain, but the skull hasn't formed properly. And as far as the facial features, they can have eyes that are widely spaced and um, have a cleft palate or, or um, a very high palate and some abnormalities in the back of the mouth on the uvula. And then we also look very carefully at the skin because patients with the Lowe's Teeth Syndrome can have um, very thin looking skin, very translucent skin that we can clearly see the veins under the skin in. And um, so it's these types of features that help distinguish Lois Dietz patients from Marfan patients when we look at them as physicians in the, in the exam room.